Well here we are back in the workshop after a bit of a layoff. I've had a, a little bit of an issue with the mill and I had to get the x-axis ball screw serviced because there was about 3 thou of loss of play on it. I think it had been caused by various crashes that I've had. Anyway it's been done and I'm quite pleased with the results and the first job I'm doing is to machine the threads in a crank set for not a bicycle but for a motorcycle uh, 1911 I believe or thereabouts Excelsior V-twin motorcycle these old belt drive motorcycles or belt stroke chain drive uh, used to uh, use chains to start the engine uh, you'd pedal furiously and the engine would start up and then you'd, you'd set off um, there would be a freewheel mechanism in the back wheel which would allow the pedals to remain stationary once the engine took over I believe but either way a lovely old bike and this is for Mr Smith and you can see there that's a nice fit in there I've done a trial of the, the fit Here's a, I don't want to don't want to make a mess of it but as you can see it's a little bit tight which is what you want with these you don't want any slack developing I want to be careful I don't take it too far in but it's going to go in all right without any problems so what I did in conversational programming I if I go over the conversational side you'll see it's six passes that is a load of rubbish I don't know why but anyway 20 threads per inch pitch of 0 0.05 now the major diameter should be 0 0.5625 but because the first time uh, first run it didn't fit I gave it another 5 thou on the diameter and that seems to have done the trick and it, it it's fine so I've overwritten the program and it's it's all there so tomorrow I will set to and drill this through a feature of uh, these sort of jobs is, or this for bicycles, the right, the right, sorry, the left-hand side pedal. Let me get this right. Yes, the left-hand side pedal has to have a right, th right-hand thread, and the right-hand side pedal has a left-hand thread. Both the same size, both same diameter, but this one here, right hand, that one there, left hand, and that's the beauty of thread milling as a process on CNC work you just tell the machine you want it to go the other way and you get a left hand thread so we'll see how we get on well here we are a bit cooler today in the workshop yesterday it was very very hot <laughs> unusual for the UK this time well not that unusual but you don't get much uh, nice weather in the summer so I had to take the most of it but it's too hot in here well over 30 degrees and I gave it a miss last night so I've just sent a drill this hole as you can see I'll put a half inch drill in here and just drill it manually but I've set my X and Y coordinates to zero so that when I go into the conversational to drill the to mill the thread it knows exactly where to go so we'll see that process in a minute. Now you can't see much here, but basically we're milling the thread. The setup for this is very difficult. You can see it's an odd shaped piece of equipment. This is solid. Crank set. So I can't change anything. Fortunately, it's got this cutting boss on it, which hasn't been removed. Save my bacon because I can hold this in the five seat bullet holder. And Clamp the rest down using a spacer washer and try and get it as near vertical as I could. And set it up that way. It's a difficult setup, uh, horrible, not very well. It's rigid enough for what I'm doing, but I wouldn't like to do any further operations with the required heavy milling of any description on it. Anyway, you can see now we're putting the thread. It's the same program as for the trial horn. See, they form beautiful condition on the really good and they're just a lovely fit for that pedal on the settings I've got so it should be okay the only problem I've got here is it might not be right the way through probably 30 thou or so but I'll open the hole up from the, from the other side 
just the way it goes. I don't want to mess with a program in case it starts in the wrong place or messes it up. So it's, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Well, here you can see the pedal set here, the crank. Uh, this is the chuck and boss I mentioned that I held it on the lathe and he has the pedal. Now the, the pedals are, they've got a very short thread, they're more for a bicycle than a motorcycle. However, there's, uh, I could countersink this a little to take the thread in a little bit or to take the pedal in just that little bit more which I'm going to do because the thread cutting, I didn't get it deep enough so the last sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch, there was there was not enough thread there, or very little. Uh, when I tried to get the pedal in, it made matters worse so from this end. I had to grind it out with the Dremel. Uh, but I'll countersink them so that the pedal just goes out a little bit further in. Ideally, it really should come flush with the end of the shaft, but as you can see, it's a good 3 sixteenths of an inch or 8mm thereabouts, 7mm short of the end. But It'll uh, it'll do the job it's intended to do. Uh, that's it. Well, here we are cutting the left hand thread trial. Uh, just doing the first pass now. Everything seems to be in order so far. Just hopefully it'll go through the bottom of the wall this time. Got almost a quarter of an inch to go, and it's nearly there now. That's it out the bottom of the work, so uh, we'll see what it's like at the end of the eight passes. Well that's the trial thread done, there's no way you can tighten it up with your fingers but you don't want it that slack, uh, it's, uh, it goes in easily, not easily but it goes in with a little bit of force, I'm not really pulling hard on that, so that to me indicates it's a perfect thread for the, the purpose. So we'll back that out and uh, drill this crank. And Machine the last one, the left hander. There we go. That's it almost out, I think. It's not easy with all, it's only two flats on this, and of course, all the clamps are in the way, but never mind. I am slowly getting to get it out. Maybe if this thing around it will fall over. Yeah, should do. There we are. There we are on the left hand thread. You can see from the colour change on the crank, I had a hell of a job drilling this thing. It worked hardened on me and I ended up having to use the carbide cutter to machine it out to the core diameter of the thread. But anyway, it's cutting out, so it's looking okay. We'll see what the pedal's like when it's. Okay, well, I've Rerun the program again just to allow the cutter to relax if you like and just cut that tiny bit more off because it was a little bit tight and I've just run it all the way at the bottom. It gets tight after about four threads but it stays tight but not impossibly tight to make up and I've made it up all the way down to the, the bottom of the thread and back out again without any trouble. So the next thing I'm just going to take a little skim off this surface here to provide a seat for it and that's that job done. Well, I finally finished these, this pedal set, this crank set. As you can see, I had to thin down this boss because the, the, the pedal was just, you know, there's about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch, too much metal there on the thickness of the boss for the thread. And they fit nicely, as you can see, both about the same distance through there just nice you know it looks much better quite a good casting or forging or whatever well it's a casting but it tended to work hard and a little when I drilled that last hole but my drills are like putty um, I need to sort something out get a decent set of drills because they're driving me crazy eventually there'll be none left anyway because they keep breaking so anyway enough morning that's your pedal set done Dave and I'll bring them with me next time I'm in the area.